Hello everyone, it's great to be back to talk about our fourth quarter results and our full year 2015. A strong finish to the year, really good performance from a production and cost standpoint from a number of our operations. As a result, for the fourth consecutive year, we've set record production, we've exceeded production guidance, we've bettered our cost uh, forecast, we've generated significant amounts of cash flow as a result of that. That's allowed us to repay debt. We reduced debt in 2015. That puts us in a very strong position going forward. We've decided to actually think differently than most of our competitors. Um, and we're doing that on the exploration front by doubling exploration budgets. Uh, we're doubling our efforts on project evaluation. Again, thinking long term, the best gold businesses will be the companies that have the best and highest quality pipeline. And that's essentially how we've built this business. Early stage M&A, followed by drilling, followed by mine building. From our current assets and our current project pipeline, we can see output grow by better than 30% over the next five or six years. What will be important for us is to move that forward at a very measured and focused pace. And as we grow, we'll still have a very manageable business in five or six years, even though it's bigger. The amazing thing about the safety aspect of our business is we have grown dramatically over the last several years. And despite that growth, we've been able to post successive improvements in lost time accident performance with the best record so far being 2015. So not only are we efficient, not only are we in a position to optimize assets, but the employees are doing an excellent job on the safety side. We're excited about the future because we've got great operations, great projects, really good exploration plays which are turning out significant results. We've got a balance sheet that is very flexible and allows us to fund that growth and fund expanded investments in exploration and fund good ideas. But the thing that really sets us apart is the broad range of skills that we have uh, with our people. And uh, we've got a young group of emerging leaders that are really driving a lot of these initiatives forward and as CEO, that's what makes me most excited. We're very positive on gold. Uh, the last couple of years, really gold was a victim of the Federal Reserve in the U.S. and the expectations around raising interest rates. But as we see it, there's not enough economic growth around to see a significant rise in interest rates over the next little while. That's positive for gold. There's still a lot of financial uncertainty in the world's market, still excessive debt levels. That's also positive for gold. Demand is growing, particularly in the Far East. Supply is declining. That's also very positive for gold. How does that affect the way we think about our business? It doesn't really change things a lot. We can't control the gold price. As long as we continue to invest in the highest quality opportunities, whether it's projects or exploration, invest in the good ideas of our people, move forward in a very measured pace, uh, we'll have a business that can deliver to our shareholders the increasing margins that'll come from a higher gold price.